I know this is not your expertise, uh, but uh, uh, what are your feelings about where does the funding come from? The, these things, uh, don't, uh, they pop up overnight, so they're clearly arranged and they're clearly financed. Uh, and matter of yeah. fact, uh, uh, I don't know what the percent is, but 30 or 40 percent of the uh, of the people who were involved in these protests, uh, the, the sit-ins or the sleep-ins on campus were not students at all. And they were paid to be there. So do you oh, have any insight into the funding? Uh, yeah, 100 percent. It's, yeah, it's 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 honestly astounding how quickly they organized. Huh. Mm. So the same Occupy Wall Street. Same thing. Lunatics, same. The same George Floyd, George Floyd lunatics George Floyd. are now have metastasized into free Palestine anarchists. Um, and we see the same funders. We have the Rockefeller Foundation. We have the Tides Foundation. We have the Open Society. And again, who are they funding? They're funding American Muslims for Palestine, AMP. They're funding SJP. students for in Palestine, SJP, who are solely responsible for these, they're not protests, they're mob riots on college campuses that are really affecting, again, 18 to 22 year olds who are paying an enormous amount of money to be there to study and have fun. Um, and they're doing nothing but creating chaos. And again, yes, there are outside agitators between 30 and 50%, depending on certain college campuses. Um, but it's, it's astounding um, that this is still allowed to happen, right? I mean, a few days ago, it was still happening. There was another encampment at UCLA. Right. Um, there right was a, an encampment at Columbia Alumni Weekend. I believe it was two week mm -hmm. two weekends ago. Um, then you look at, at states like, you know, Ohio, Indiana. You look at Florida, where you have University of Florida President Ben Sass. He's like, we're not, this This isn't a daycare. You do this, you're going to get suspended, arrested, and barred from campus for three years. Mm -hmm. Students are here to learn and to have fun and enjoy their life for four years. They're not here you know, to call for the death of others and certainly not here to call for the death of America. Um, you have Ohio State University who from day one said, no, not on our campus. And they had snipers on buildings Ooh. and they immediately Ooh. dispersed the garbage that was you know, happening. You had Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio, which they had protesters, they wouldn't leave. So after they uh, graffitied free Palestine onto the walls, guess what their painters did? They painted right over the individual standing there. I read about that. It was phenomenal. That's exactly what you do. That's what we have to do. If they have no respect for rules, you have no respect for them. Thank you, Leora, for speaking with me today. And thank you so much more for the very important and difficult work that you are doing, fighting Jew hatred in our country by punishing Jew haters.